Can you solve this limit at infinity? You have four options. Lock your answer in the comments and keep watching to see the solution. When we have a limit at infinity, it helps to compare the degrees of the numerator and denominator. So the answer may be immediately obvious to some of you. But to some, this may be a little challenging because of the square root in the numerator. So let's solve it using the technical way. When you have a limit at infinity like this, it's a good idea to divide by the highest degree in the denominator. In this case, the denominator is a linear function, so the highest degree is 1. So we divide the top and bottom by x. Is this allowed? Well, x is approaching infinity, so it's a large positive number, meaning it's not 0, so we can definitely divide by it. How does this help? We can split the fraction in the denominator, and this simplifies to 4 minus 1 over x. For the numerator, we want to insert the x inside the square root. In order to do this, we'll rewrite x as the square root of x squared. Now, the square root of x squared is technically the absolute value of x, but since we know x is a large positive number, then this will just be x itself. So this equation is true, meaning we can rewrite x as the square root of x squared, allowing us to then insert it in the denominator like this. And now we will split the fraction like this, and this simplifies to 1 over x plus 3. We'll now use limit properties. We'll pass the limit to the numerator and denominator. We'll slide the limit inside the square root. So we'll have the limit of 1 over x plus 3 inside the square root. And we'll use limit laws once more to split the sum. So the limit of a sum is the sum of limits, meaning this is the limit of 1 over x plus the limit of 3. We can do the same thing for the denominator and split the limits. And now the limit as x approaches infinity of 1 over x is obviously 0, and the limit of a constant is just the constant itself. So this works out to be the square root of 0 plus 3 over 4 minus 0, which is the square root of 3 over 4. So the correct answer is B. Could you figure it out?